Ukraine for forty billion dollars. You get the bill at three at three o'clock. You got three hours to read it. You're voting on it. No debate. Uh, nothing. I mean, no no argument. It's like it's like we have a one-party system. Only fifty-seven Republicans are voting no out of a caucus of two hundred, um, and we have no money, and we're broke, and we got an open civ border, and there was not even a debate on it, Congressman. Well, thank you, John. Uh, I will tell you that I voted, I proudly voted against that bill. I did not think it was appropriate. I thought it was fiscally irresponsible. Uh, it was not paid for, so that would have been $40 billion added to our debt. $15 billion of that bill, just in itself, uh, went to things other than actual military support to Ukraine or military support to our troops uh, or our uh, Department of Defense uh, to replenish the weapons that have already gone to Ukraine. So, uh, you know, when 40 percent of a bill goes to things like international disaster assistance, um, then that's just not something that I'm going to vote for when we have a wide open border on our southern border. Uh, this is that particular bill, plus what we've spent uh, or what has been approved for Ukraine support already is basically the entire budget of, um, of uh, the Border Patrol. Uh, and I'm sorry, but when, when we have chaos going on at our southern border, when we have illegal migrants, uh, 2.4 million of them encounters uh, in just the last year of the Biden administration, um, you know, we need to look at America, too. You know, it's great to support Ukraine, and I do support Ukraine in their fight against Russia. Uh, I support, um, you know, providing them the weapons that they need to defend themselves. But uh, but we need to look at America here, too. I mean, look, we even have a food crisis now, a baby food crisis. And we're sending baby food to the southern border for illegals when mothers, American citizens, cannot find it on the shelves, have to travel hours just to get baby formula for their kids. You know, we don't have the priority straight here in Washington, D.C. And so uh, I, I voted against that bill. I thought it was fiscally irresponsible.